Hey, what's going on guys? Greg here, and yes, we finally have it, the Apple Watch Series 4 just arrived today, and I'm ready to go ahead and unbox it and give my first impressions on the overall redesign and features of the Apple Watch Series 4. So let's go ahead, let's unbox this thing right away. Greg's Gadgets. Now this is the silver aluminum 44 millimeter. It is not the special stainless steel gold version. It is not the black version of the aluminum. This is the silver version. I've been using this one for a while, so a lot of my bands work with it. You can see that we have some new packaging here as we unwrap this plastic. If you've ever unboxed an Apple Watch before, you would know that this is a little bit different. So we actually have these little sides over here, which you can peel off. Kind of like a Happy Meal box <laughs> in a way. I don't know if that's a good compliment for an Apple product. But you open it up, you can see the nice designs of all the different Apple watches and their bands. It's a really nice looking design for a box. I gotta say, this is really, really nice. But of course, this is just gonna trash in a little bit. You wanna go ahead and open up this band first? Let's do that. You can see that we have the instructions and we have that nice new sport loop in that pearl color. I like the sport loop a lot for when running or doing exercise or things like that. Um, it's not one of my favorite bands. It's not really that classy looking, but for exercise and stuff, it's good. And I needed a new one for exercising. But this band is pretty much worthless without the new Apple Watch. Now, all of your old 42 millimeter bands will work with the 44 millimeter version of the Apple Watch. So that's actually good. If you have a big band collection, you don't have to go and buy a bunch of new bands. So here is the Apple Watch box. You can see you have a nice minimalistic looking Apple Watch. You got that new rounded display all around the Apple Watch on the box over here. And let's go ahead, let's just go lift it up and see what we got in here. So we have some instructions. You have your five watt power brick, your magnetic charger. This is the same plastic version they've been shipping for a while now. They're still not using the stainless steel version of this packaging that is found on the stainless steel versions of the watch, but you know, it's not a big deal. Let's just put this to the side. And here we have our Apple Watch in a brand new covering that I've never seen before. Um, it's nice because it'll make sure your Apple Watch isn't damaged. It's almost like a little Apple Watch sock for your Apple Watch. I think I might keep this uh, <laughs> to store my Apple Watches in in the future to keep them protected. This is actually pretty cool. I like this. So let's just slide this off. Uh, I'll see this little guy later. That's that's pretty cool. I don't know why I like that so much just for protection So here is the brand new Apple Watch Series 4. There's no band on it um, You can see you have the nice back right over here So let me go ahead and take off my Series 3 Apple Watch so we can see some of the differences here So this is my old Series 3 Apple Watch right here So you can see the Series 4 backs are quite different. You have some different designs over here You can see that the Series 3 Apple Watch actually had four separate sensors and circles over here uh, the Series 4 manages to get that down in just one little sensor over here. The entire back of the Series 4 is now made in ceramic. Uh, this is because it's going to allow increased cellular reception, increased Wi-Fi reception, and I think increased Bluetooth reception because, I don't know if you knew this, but radio signals can't pass through metal objects really well. So the cellular service is going to be a big improvement on the Series 4 Apple Watch. Uh, some of the Series 3 Apple Watches in the earlier reviews, they had some problem with the reception but that should be pretty much solved with the ceramic back. That is a nice addition to the Series 4, and it just looks really nice on the back. You can see that it's just kind of an all-black ceramic finish instead of the previous version where you had the aluminum on the back and then you had the ceramic little bubble over here. So if we flip these over, we can see the difference between the thinness between the Series 4 and the Series 3 version of the Apple Watch, and it's minuscule, but when you're wearing this watch, I think you're gonna notice a big, big difference. Just a little bit more thinness can make this fit under a shirt cuff collar where it normally wouldn't have, so I think uh, you're gonna see a nice benefit from that little bit of extra thinness on the Series 4 version of the Apple Watch. And you can also see that they moved the speakers around, so in this version you have two speakers like this, and then you had the speakers on the side over here. But on the Series 3, you also had microphones over here. On the Series 4, they actually moved that to the other side, so right between the digital crown and the side button, you actually have a microphone there. On the Series 3 Apple Watch, that's not there. So that's gonna be way better for improved Siri, way better so those speakers aren't blasting into your microphone when you're on a phone call. So that should reduce some echo as well. You'll also notice that the digital crown is different itself. It looks a little different. It has a 
small red ring around it instead of this giant red circle to indicate that it is a cellular version. And you also have the same mechanism for changing watch band. So like I said, if you have an old watch band, an old 42 millimeter watch band, you can just go ahead and put that right on the series four. So this is the old 42 millimeter watch band I had on my series three. And yeah, it fits perfectly on the series four version of the Apple watch. So let me just set this up and we'll come right back. Okay, and I just finally got my Apple Watch Series 4 set up. The setup time was actually a lot quicker than previous versions, so I think the chip in this is actually going to be a lot faster. So you can see we already have one of the new watch faces here. This is the animated water watch face. The display is so much nicer than the Series 4, than the Series 3 Apple Watch, sorry. And uh, you can just see how nice it really, really is. So let's go ahead and do, um, I think there's also a fire screen on this one. So you can go ahead and you can see the fire come out on this watch. It's, it's pretty cool. Uh, let's see what else we got. I want to see what some of those more infographic watch faces. I think I have to make those new. So let's go ahead and see if we can find those. So the digital crown now actually has haptic feedback. So as you're scrolling through these, it, it feels like a click every time. That is so cool. Okay. So this is one of the new watch faces, the infograph watch face. And oh, wow, that looks really nice. So Apple's never done the white circle in the watch face before. So you can see all the different complications we have on this watch face, like calendar, you have a globe, you have the UV index, you have the temperature right over here, your activity rings, a timer. So you can go ahead and click those two and you can get even more information and a bigger view as you do that. And you can click over here, and load up that weather. That loaded really quick compared to a Series 3 Apple Watch. You can see that you can customize these things. You can change it from a white background. You can do red, orange, all, all different types of backgrounds. You can change all of these complications up. So if you wanted to switch out the UV index for a timer, if you want to do sunrise, stopwatch, stocks, reminders, there's so many different things you can do. The reminders looks really cool on that. So I don't have any reminders, but that, I like that a lot. That's going to be really useful. If the only reason you're getting this Apple Watch for the redesign, you're going to be happy. But the chip in this is so fast so far. Everything I load up just loads instantly. So let's go ahead and just load up anything. Let's pick a random application. Some of them are still loading on here. So you'll have to forgive me. Let's load up music. It's already loaded up. I just I just tapped in. It's loaded. If you have a Series 3, you know there's a little bit of spinning when you load up something. Let's go ahead and load up news. Okay, that's preparing it. It's the first time syncing it, so I guess that's not a really good comparison. What else can we take a look at? If we load up the phone, bam, there it is. If we load up our stopwatch, bam, there it is. Uh, let's load up the home app. That's usually a little slow. There you go. It didn't even have time to load that circle if you saw it. it didn't even have time. This is really, really fast and snappy. A huge upgrade over the Series 3 Apple Watch in terms of speed. So let's go ahead and see if we can see a look at some of the more different watch faces over here. The infograph, kaleidoscope, the liquid metal, the digital crown, the haptic feedback on this is so good. You have the Siri watch face, solar. There are just so many different watch faces now. There's still no third party watch faces, which do bum out people a lot. I understand that. I understand that some people want to download their own watch faces, you know, you have that too. So here's the infograph modular, another completely redesigned watch face to give you some more information. If you've had the previous Apple Watch versions before, you'd know the modular watch face. This gives you a lot more information now, and you can kind of see, I think this middle complication actually gives you the most. So if you wanted to do some other applications like your heart rate, you just see tons of data. If I did activity, which is probably what I would do, you can see how much you're moving, your exercise rings, your stand hours. Just really, really nice, really nice display. Okay guys, and that's it, that was the unboxing. My initial impressions are super, super strong. As you could tell in the video, as we were unboxing it, I was really impressed with the speed of the Apple Watch. It is so fast. The Series 4 is such a huge improvement from every single version of the Apple Watch, including just the previous model of Series 3. Apps no longer take any time to load up. Even if they're not loaded onto the dock of your Apple Watch, they load almost instantly. I also love the brand new redesign on the Series 4. It's a little bit thinner, so it makes it sit so much nicer on your wrist. If you're worried that the 44 millimeter version is going to be a lot bigger than the 42 millimeter version. Uh, for my initial testing, I don't think that's the case. If you have a 42 millimeter, I think you're gonna be very, very happy with the size of the 44 millimeter. And the overall redesign of it being thinner does make it fit a lot better on your wrist. So if your Series 3 was popping up a little bit on your wrist, I think those problems are gonna be solved with the Series 4. And overall, I just love the new design. I love the new performance in it. Obviously, I wanna test some of that heart rate stuff out and some of the more 
intense features of the Apple Watch Series 4 before I give my overall review of it, but my first initial impressions are super strong. I think this is going to be the best Apple Watch yet, and I can't wait to give you guys my full review. So stay around. If you like the video, make sure you give it a like. Subscribe to my channel to see more, including a review of the Apple Watch Series 4. And as always, guys, let me know what you think of the Apple Watch Series 4 in the comments below, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care, everyone.